Our journey begins at the majestic Hokanji Temple, the oldest pagoda in Kyoto. It's one of the most popular photography spots, so if you want a photo here without the crowds, you must get here early. Along our path to Kiyomitsu Dera, you'll miss this unique Starbucks that's set in a traditional Japanese house. If you arrive early, you might be able to enjoy your drink on one of these cozy tatami floor seating areas. The temple, perched on a hillside, offers breathtaking views and a serene atmosphere. The temple opens as early as 6 a.m. so you can enjoy the grounds in peace if you arrive early. It is even more beautiful during fall foliage season. If you got a chance, you have to fit it into your itinerary. Don't miss out on exploring the charming streets surrounding the temple. From traditional crafts to trendy boutiques, there's something for everyone to take home here. Stephanie is looking for some cake to gift. The problem is, since they're delicious cakes, they expire pretty quickly. So we have four days before the written expiration date. But we're not getting back to the States until a week later. What a dilemma. The infamous cake we can't take home. We only booked one paid experience for our entire trip and it's to get a glimpse of Kyoto's traditional tea ceremony. It's held in a historic townhouse in Gion where you not only get to immerse yourself in the art of tea but also get to experience real kimonos. We should have communicated so we can match. Uh -huh. We are not matching at all. The tea house along with its small garden served as the perfect backdrop. You can even wear the kimonos out for the entire day if you want to. Famous for its geisha culture and historic machia houses, Jiang is a place where tradition comes alive. As you wander through the narrow streets, you might catch a glimpse of a geisha or Michael gracefully making their way to their appointments. It's like stepping into a different era. The charm and elegance of Jiang will transport you back in time. It's time to hop on a train and embark on our half-day trip to the city of Osaka. Our first stop is the picturesque Kima Sakura no Miya Park, known for its stunning cherry blossoms and peaceful riverside views. You can even see the beautiful Osaka Castle from here. Souvenir. Should we get these? Or should we get these? 
Let's head towards the iconic Dongtobori, but not without stopping by the lively shopping district of Chinsanbashi first. If you're an anime fan, there are quite a few stores filled with collectibles and merchandises that are hard to find back home. By night, Dontobori is packed with lively crowds and flashy billboards. Keep an eye for the famous Running Man sign and don't forget to strike a pose. What makes Osaka different from Kyoto or Tokyo is its unique laid-back vibe and retro atmosphere. I've also been hearing that Osaka is a much more budget-friendly hub for visiting the Kansa area. Maybe we'll try that next time. I hope you've enjoyed a taste of each city's charm and atmosphere. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more adventures. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video where I'll be taking you guys to explore my hometown, Taiwan.